Hi everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Teacher March. Today we are going to discuss what to do before, during, and after an earthquake and volcanic eruption. Are you ready to listen? Let us begin! At the end of the lesson, we are able to determine ways to protect themselves during an earthquake and volcanic eruptions. Apply precautionary measures in protecting oneself during an earthquake and volcanic eruptions. And lastly, we are going to cite proper measures in the event of the earthquake and volcanic eruptions. The best ways to minimize damage to property and loss of lives before an earthquake is to follow precautionary measures. Now what to do before an earthquake? Number one, check your house for any structural defects. Like big cracks on walls, hang objects, or unsecured roofing and have them repaired. Two, familiarize yourself with the layout of your home or school. Identify the best routes and exits in case of an earthquake. Number three, secure tall and heavy furniture like cabinets and shelves on the wall. Number four, prepare emergency plan and share them with your family or classmates. And lastly, prepare emergency go bags that contains potable water, packed food, flashlight, radio, whistle, spare clothes, first aid kit, and important documents in case of emergency. Okay, now let us proceed to what to do or what you are going to do during an earthquake. First, do not panic and stay calm. Second, if you are inside a building, move away from windows and shelves. Find a table or desk to go under to protect yourself from falling debris or objects. Practice duck cover and hold. Duck onto your hands and knees, cover your head and neck, hold on to your shoulder. Third, do not use an elevator in going out of a building. Fourth, do not rush to the exit if you are in a crowded place to avoid stampede. Go out in an orderly manner. Fifth, if you are outside, stay away from tall buildings, power lines, and trees. Go to an open area. And six, if you are in moving vehicle, ask the driver to stop far away from posts, buildings, trees, power lines, and bridges. And lastly, if you are near the shore or coastal area, always be aware of the possibility of tsunami. Go to the higher grounds instead. Lastly, what we are going to do after an earthquake. Number one, check yourself and others for injuries. Check the safety of your family members or report your status to other family members. Two, be prepared for aftershocks. Three, check for damages in electricity, water, and gas in your home or school. Ask an adult to turn them off. Do not light a fire. Fourth, ask for help to put out small fires or contact the fire department. Fifth, listen to the latest news. Keep yourself updated and alert. And lastly, avoid traveling using vehicles unless necessary. Now let us move on to the effect of volcanic eruption before, during, and after. First, let us discuss what are you going to do before volcanic eruption. Number one, be aware of any unusual volcanic activity like smoke or steam coming out of a volcano. Number two, keep updated on the safety instructions and warnings from the people in authority. Number three, Prepare emergency supplies like potable water, packed food, flashlight, and first aid kit. Number four, find out where the evacuation area is located. Number five, 
Evacuate if necessary. Number six, repair mask to be used in case of ash fall or volcanic smog. And then, what are you going to do during volcanic eruption? Number one, evacuate the area right away. Two, evacuate the area and find a safe place where they can settle. Three, wear a face mask and goggles when volcanic ash or dust is present. Number five, when indoors, keep your food and water supply covered. Close all doors and windows to avoid letting the ashes inside the house. And number six, stay in the evacuation center and wait for further instruction from the authority. And what are you going to do after volcanic eruptions? Number one, do not go back to your house right away after a volcanic eruption. Please wait for the instructions on when it is safe to go back home. Two, check the water and electrical damage. If there is any, turn off the main switch. Number three, clear roofs of ash fall carefully. Ash can be heavy and cause roofs to collapse. And lastly, avoid driving in heavy ash fall unless it is needed. After discussing our lesson for today, let us have an activity in order for us to know if you really understood the lesson for today about what to do before, during, and after earthquake and volcanic eruptions. Are you ready? But before we start, everybody get a piece of paper and a ball pen. I will give you 5 seconds for every question. Okay? All you have to do is to draw a happy face if the statement is correct and draw a sad face if the statement is not correct. Okay, question number 1. Be updated on any unusual volcanic activity. Ready? Begin! Okay, what is your answer? Very good! The answer is happy face. Question number two. Prepare enough food and potable water to be used in case of emergency. Ready? Begin! Time's up. What is your answer? Very good! Happy face! Question number three. Wear a mask and goggle to protect your nose, mouth, and eyes from volcanic ash. Begin! Okay, time's up. What is your answer? Very good! Happy face! For question number 4. Evacuate if necessary. Begin! Okay, what is your answer? Yes, happy face. And for our last question, go back to your home right after the volcanic eruption. Okay, what is your answer? Yes, sad face. Thank you very much for listening for today. I hope you learned a lot from me today. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the notification bell for my future videos. Until next time, this is Teacher March. Goodbye!